which you guys got another video here for you this one's on how to customize your windows installation now the way you can do that is by uh, editing your installer on your windows cd now or iso so what you can do there is add in your own programs your driver packs um, gadgets anything like that and make your own tweaks to it as in the registry tweaks turn off services and all this sort of stuff and we're going to do that with a free tool called win toolkit and you can get this tool from this website here it's called winsert.net and it's a free download and if you're going to be using um, windows xp let me just uh, have a look here if you're going to be using windows xp or windows vista you're going to be needing to install this dism uh, installer okay and once you've done that you should be good to go but if you're using windows 7 you won't need to worry about this part this this site has been well uh, built it's got loads of tutorials and help on here it also works on windows 8 here as you can see so if you've got windows 8 and you wish to do some tweaks you can do that as well we're going to be using windows 7 in this uh, case okay so i've downloaded uh, my actual program here and all you need to do is use 7-zip to open that and that's a free download you can get off the internet as well and you just need to drag this to your desktop now this is the actual program here so what I'm going to do is fire this up now, it's a very powerful tool and it's uh, it's got a lot of good features on it so we're not going to be able to cover them all in this video I'll try and do my best uh, to cover as much as I can uh, but we may need to do a couple of other videos so let's go to the main tab here at the top and then click basic now this is a good place to start if you're just starting out and as you can see an all-in-one integrator if you hover over it it gives you a little tip box information and as you can see you've got all your theme packs tweaks updates wallpapers language packs and so on you can integrate into your own builds which can save you a lot of time if you do it a lot as in i.e. if you work in IT and stuff there's also an ISO maker here this will actually make the ISO once you've finished doing all your build you can create your own ISO and then burn it um, you've also got some uh, guides here these are all your guides and when you click on here it will take you to the guides page you've got the links on them so you can actually come here and it will give you all the information what you need so if you're stuck on say uh, the all-in-one integrator you just click on that and it will give you all the information with pictures to help you through your uh, difficulties there so let's have a look at the um, next one so you can browse all your downloads here this is um, all the downloads uh, and it will give you all the areas where you want to download here type and so on I'm not gonna be doing that just yet and also there's even a, a Windows 7 uh, service pack 1 ISO which you can use you click on this and it will take you to the site here and it's totally legal it's not illegal to do this you can actually use it and uh, download it from here as a preview as trial version okay so this this is not a, a cracked version this is a trial version and you can download which language you want or which version you want 64-bit or 32-bit okay so now we've got that part out of the way let's move on to the intermediate tab we've got unintended creator that means an unintended install so I suppose you could build all that just like you can in Windows and it will actually um, when you're installing it will do it all automatically for you I think that's what this part does also a USB boot prep and you've also got the Win manager let's go to the advanced tab here also we've got the all-in-one disk creator here uh, component removal now this is to remove components as well be very careful if you're using this only use this area if you're pretty experienced at doing this sort of stuff don't be playing with these types of things if you're not sure okay also you've got a win registry editor that allows you to edit the registry um, make changes to the registry tweaks and that so when you do the build and install it will automatically have those changes done for you okay so leave these well alone if you're not familiar with this type of stuff okay let's move on to the tools tab here and as you can see we've got language uh, pack com converter there we've also got MSP extractor uh, MSU cab converter driver installer updates installer it's got loads of useful tools here uh, add-on maker so you can make your own add-ons and so on and so on okay you've also got um, SWIM merger and also a WIM splitter 
I'm going to go to the downloads tab now this is the first place I would be going if I was you once I start this program up and what you can actually do here is download all your driver packs um, and also the I think this uses uTorrent as well now like a torrent site now nowadays so you'd have to download that using the uTorrent uh, gadgets you can download all your gadgets and if you click on it it's linked straight to the gadgets page where you can get all your gadgets for Windows and you can incorporate these into your build also theme packs the same thing it will take you straight to the theme packs page and wallpapers and so on okay the add-ons page uh, is if you want add-ons now remember add-ons uh, do take up size and you can add these in on your build so once you've added these into the CD you can add all these programs in as you wish uh, Foxit Reader and so on uh, some people prefer to do silent installs like myself but if you want to actually incorporate these into the install folder or into the build itself you can do that by using this method okay so let's get started anyway um, I've got my actual ISO image here of Windows 7 and what you need to do here is right click on it and use 7-zip to open the archive and here's all the files that you're going to need now I've created a folder inside my C root directory that's what I've done and it's called Win7 and there are all the files and all you need to do really is drag these files highlight them and drag them or extract them whatever way you want to do into that folder now you can put the folder wherever you like I've put mine in my C root directory okay so let's crack on so now I've got all that done I'm ready to go so I'm going to click on main and I'm going to use the basic one for this video just so people can see how easy it is so we're going to go straight in here and click on this now mine will load up automatically so let me just uh, change this area for you so you can see what I'm going to do I'm going to browse the a specified WIM file so I'm going to go to my C root directory now where I've got mine and it'll be in Win7 and you need to go sources and then inside here you'll see the install.wim this is the actual uh, files where we're going to incorporate them into there so when it gets installed all them programs and stuff will install as well once you've done that okay we've got home premium you may have a slightly different selection here okay a list of stuff but we're going to select home premium I've already done that so I'm going to click this and this is uh, what you're going to be faced with next so what we're going to do is continue no present and once you get here this is the next stage now what we need to do here is pretty simple you've seen me use these types of programs before we need to incorporate all our add-ons drivers gadgets and all this other stuff that you want to do now you don't have to it could be very bare minimum uh, depending on how much you want to install so I'm going to do add-ons here and as you can see I'm just going to add in a couple of these I've already downloaded them that's what I'd advise you to do pre-download everything before you start all this uh, I'll add a couple of these in just to show you roughly what it's all about and all you need to do is just get the downloads like I've showed you here and now you can see these programs will be installed once we build now once we do the installation it will install all these okay okay drivers you need to download your drivers I haven't downloaded any drivers uh, for this uh, for this uh, video but you would you see me do this before you just need to um, locate the driver same thing add drivers and then add them in okay gadgets same thing theme packs um, let me try and do I think I might have a theme pack here okay so we've got a couple of theme packs I'll just show you what I mean you just add the theme packs in like so so there are your theme packs they'll be added in um, also updates and languages I never bothered with that but you can do if you want to and this is where you would do it same process same thing okay wallpapers would be the same as well next tab along is the actual advanced tab now you've got to be very very careful here this is component removal uh, area now anything you want to remove from your build when you're installing you can do it in this location here but be very careful because once you've removed these it will be gone forever that's it they'll be uh, out of your build so for argument's sake um, if you wanted to remove 
a particular area a particular uh, file here you can actually do it inside here okay and I'm not sure what you would want to do um, because everyone's got their own preferences I'm not going to play around with this in this video but you could uh, say remote assistance or anything like that you could put ticks in here and get rid of them and when you install it this will be missing from the actual uh, build okay same thing with V light you've got uh, accessories and so on you can sort of rip out just about anything really files services here you can adjust all your services here if you wanted to so when you install them that's how they will look when they're installed so if you want to get really geeky about it you can basically set up all your services how you want them automatic stopped and so on and so on and you could do that from here silent installers same thing you get a silent installer once you've added that you need to add the file path okay so let me just see if I can find one I have one here which we can use and then you need to in do the install switch and then you click OK and then that will install okay once you have get to that stage same thing with tweaks really you can tweak up your context menu I'm not going to get too heavy into it because it takes too long um, but you've got more time than me but as you can see context menu uh, desktop and so on and so on you can do all your little tweaks here uh, which will speed up your uh, installation and also st speed up once you're using your system save you having to go through and do all these tweaks afterwards you can do it all on the build and you install you can turn off firewalls and so on and so on okay you can generally see everything here it's quite it's quite good okay so that's out of the way we're going to go to the options tab here and as you can see you can just basically tick in here what you need to do uh, reset default theme and so on and so on um, and do your final tweaks here and once you've done that we're pretty much good to go okay so the next thing you want to do is uh, click OK here. Now that's checking. I'm going to click on Start, and that's uh, checking here. It's getting the update list. It's just integrating all my stuff that I've done. And once that's all done, we'll be able to create the ISO image. And this bit can take a bit of time, so just leave it well alone and let it do its thing. Okay, so that's now complete. That took 3 minutes and 24 seconds. So as you can see, we've got complete down there. So all we need to do here now is close this off. Now what's happened is inside our install.wim file, all those files that I've added have been installed. Now obviously the more stuff you add the longer it will take but if I come down to the install.wim file this will now be all the files that I've put are all integrated into here but now we need to create this ISO and what we need to do is uh, come to ISO maker and we need to put a folder to be captured and I'm going to locate my Win7 folder and select that you can put what label you like in there and then we need to select an output which is where we're going to save our actual um, ISO image so this just say for argument's sake I wanted to save it inside the, that Win7 folder I could do and we could call this whatever I like so we're going to just call this um, Win7 and then click save and once we've done that you've got the location there and then we click on start once you've put your ticks in what you want to do and then click start and this will then start rebuilding the ISO image ready for burning and then we could install that onto any machine with all our add-ons updates and hopefully if all goes well and you don't get any errors you should have a nice custom Windows 7 CD or DVD now you will, saw, you will see a, a command prompt box pop up 
don't worry about that that's pretty normal and as you can see it's just doing its thing there so just let that do its job okay so it's now saying that our ISO is now com uh, complete and created so I'm going to click OK here we can now close this off and we can now close close that off now, sometimes you do get errors so don't think everything's uh, plain sailing so what we're going to do here is go into our Win7 folder and here you can see our readily made uh, ISO image and all we need to do now is uh, burn that to a CD and then away you go pretty much you should be able to install that with all your updates driver packs gadgets and whatnot okay so I hope this has been some use to you my name is Brian from brightech.co.uk if you enjoyed these videos please remember guys hit that subscribe button and share your support also rate and favorite all my videos if you enjoy them and I'll be making more useful videos again in the future so thanks again for watching guys thanks for your support bye for now